good evening YouTube. It is Wednesday, May 10th, about 7.30 in the evening, and it's time for another shop video. In this video, I want to do AI Part 2, and for Part 2, I want to talk about the tendency of us humans to develop tech and only see the good in the tech and we often don't realize the bad points of the tech until it's too late and I think a perfect example of this is the internet in general and in social media um little back primer for those that don't know the internet itself has existed since 1969 it was actually a government funded project funded by a division of the Department of Defense known as DARPA which stands for Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the sole purpose of the internet back in those days was to keep the government running in the event of a nuclear war which it was designed to do very well and maybe we will get into the whys of that in another video but in 1983 the internet was handed off to private interests and about 10 years later what we now know is the World Wide Web was developed which eventually gets us to the point where we are today and all of the problems and issues that this wonderful development which is used for wonderful things has unfortunately caused that we now must deal with and another subsection of this would be social media when the internet was first created social media didn't exist and now that social media has been developed and has been in existence for oh about 25 years or so um, some issues have arisen the problem is that these issues even though they're extremely severe issues they're not anything that's going that could potentially do extreme damage to humanity as a whole the problem when it comes to AI is twofold. Problem number one is that AI is developing at an incredible speed, a speed the likes of which we have never seen before. The perfect example of this is the amount of time that it took to go from the first version of Chat GPT, which is actually known as version 3 into the what we have now chat gpt version 4 and the difference between those two is light years apart and it only took maybe six months time to go between the two versions and that pace of development is very scary um the other aspect of AI that's serious is the pace of development is so fast that by the time we realize the issues with what we've created, it's too late. The cat's out of the bag and you can't close Pandora's box you can't put the genie back in the bottom and there's a lot of very intelligent and very well established people that have a real fear that one day we're going to develop an AI 
that is capable of severely damaging and or possibly destroying humanity and we're going to implement this thing and we're not going to realize the problem with what we just did until it's too late in which case um, there may very well be no going back from it with earlier technological issues such as the internet, there's things that we could do to help mitigate some of the damage, but if an AI, if a destructive AI accidentally gets developed, who knows what could happen. And that's what scares a lot of people. And, and it really bothers a lot of very intelligent, well-connected people. And we have a habit of not listening. Well, maybe this time, I think we might want to take a listen to what everybody has to say because humans sometimes do stupid stuff. And this time when we do stupid stuff, we may not be able to mitigate or fix what we did. Some words and thoughts to think about everybody um having said that rate comment like subscribe i'll see everyone next time see you all soon bye bye